What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I know I look a little... Well, I don't really want to say it. You already know. I know that there's a virus going around. Everyone's in quarantine. I literally had to quarantine for my birthday um, because of the virus that's going around. I hope everyone is being safe, by the way. This whole virus is stopping us from glowing up. And that is not okay. So I thought I would glow up but at home. And I can't get my nails done, I can't get my hair done, I can't get my eyelashes done because we're being quarantined right now. The only thing that was open was Amazon. So I bought a bunch of stuff off Amazon. I bought eyelash extensions. So yes, I'm gonna be doing my eyelash extensions. Is that safe? Probably not. I don't even go out on a daily basis, but now that I know I'm required to stay indoors, it makes me not wanna stay indoors anymore. Also, I'm stuck with my boyfriend for like this whole entire quarantine thing and I didn't realize how annoying he was. <laughs> <laughs> Till now. Bro, I look so bad without lashes. It's been forever since I had like no lashes. I look like I'm 12. Okay, so I think I'm gonna wax my eyebrows first and then dye my hair and then put a face mask on. I'm gonna use this Gigi Supply ready to use wax strips. I bought this on Amazon. Everything I have is on Amazon. My eyebrows are looking a little hairy. So we're gonna like use these scissors to cut it. We're waxing the stash first. Ready? Okay, ready? One, two. <laughs> I hate doing this. Okay, ready? One, two. <sighs> I need my boyfriend to do this for me. One, two. Mm, okay. One, two. Three. Ah. Okay, one, two. Oh, one, Two. <laughs> Did I do it? Okay, one, two. Ah. You know it would suck if I ripped my whole eyebrow off. Okay, one, two, three. Not bad. So. I finished waxing my brows and I'm gonna dye my hair. Um, I'm dyeing it a darkest brown. Um, my hair is usually a dark brown. It kind of looks black in videos, but if I'm in the sun, it's like, it has some red tones in it, which I hate. So sometimes I'll take like black box dye and dye my hair black. Since I tried to dye my hair and it did not come out the way I wanted, we're going to have to dye it back. I honestly don't even need to read the instructions for this because I've dyed my hair so many times that I'm just like a professional. Like step one and step two together. I tend to do this a lot. I don't know why. Like I'll dye my hair and then regret it and then dye it back. I just never learn my lesson. And then I complain that my hair is damaged. But I just, you know, keep damaging it. So I just never learn. I don't know. I kind of like the color. It looks cute. You guys see it now? It's orange. <sighs> see, you can be like bougie and use a brush and like do each strand, but no one has time for that. So, well, I mean, I have a lot of time now because I'm in quarantine. So pour it in my hand like this, and then go like this, and then go like this. Voila. Um, if you're a professional hairstylist and you're about to comment saying that you shouldn't use box dye on your hair, well, the damage is done, and I'm still doing it. Regardless, I do not have $300 to spend to get my hair done. And by the way, I did get my hair done professionally, spent $600, and it came out like shit. Okay, so I just finished putting the product in my hair, and now I'm going to put on a face mask. I'm going to use this Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Mask. I'm also going to use this My Collagen Hydrogel Lip Patch. I don't know if this does anything, but I still use it because it looks cool, so... I'm using this brush to apply. So this smooths away lip lines, dry cracked lips in 10 to 15 minutes. I have to wear this for 10 to 15 minutes? Okay, oh this is so cool. This looks like Kylie Jenner's lips. Do look pretty? You look gorgeous. By the way guys, my boyfriend's crippled. Why and we also got a new dog. 
Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower and I washed out my hair and my face mask and now we're gonna do my lashes. So um, everything I bought for my lashes are on Amazon and I will link everything down below so you guys can like go get it yourself too because I know eyelash extensions are expensive and well that's all I have to say, they're really expensive. So the lashes I bought, um, these are $9.90. And then I'm low key like exposing lash techs right now. Um, I know some people like some lash techs buy their stuff on Amazon, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like it's pretty bomb. So, um, and then this glue was probably like ten to fifteen dollars. I really don't know, but this is how small it is. Um, it's really good. This is like for sensitive eyes because I've used this and it hasn't like burned my eyes. Um, I looked for like sensitive glue. So if you're doing lashes on yourself, which I don't recommend, but you know if you're really desperate then get sensitive glue. The eyelash glue is pretty dangerous and can make you go blind. And then I also got this eyelash kit and this was like, I think seven or $10 and it comes with, I don't know what these are. They're like sticks, it comes with these sticks. My nails are so nasty. It came with these like um, little rings to hold the glue. So you put the glue in there when you're doing your lashes. Um, it all came with a bunch of spooly brushes and it also came with tape to put um, for your bottom lashes with the eye patches. Um, just in case you put the eye patch on and um, some of the hairs are sticking out, then you can use the tape. You should put these eyelashes on one eyelash only. Don't put it like, don't just stick it on there because you can just ruin your lashes and you'll have no lashes at the end of the day. This is also perfect if you like to do eyeshadow and you hate fallout, just use this. I'm gonna brush my lashes first with the spoolie. I already cleaned it with my eyelash cleaner that I have. I literally have like one, two, three, four, five, like five eyelashes left on this eye. Well, the lashes I like is Doll Eye um, Hybrid. A lot of you guys ask me what kind of lashes I get. So there's also Classic and Volume. Um, classic is really natural. You could do like cat eye with that. Cat eye is kind of like the Bella Hadid, like if you want to look snatched like that. So hybrid's a little bit different to do because instead of picking one individual lash, I know lash techs will do like each eye at the same time, but I'm gonna do one eye and then show you guys like how it looks basically. Okay, I got the first lash and I'm gonna Separate. Did I get it? Okay, I got it. I also like to use long lashes, so I put 15, 14, and 13 on my eyes. So I'm gonna try and do like as much as I can on camera, and then I'm gonna turn off my camera. Okay, so as you can tell, this eye is a little fuller than this one. So we're doing great. This is so easy, to be honest. It's kind of fun too, because like there's nothing else to do, so might as well do your lashes. So I ended up finishing this eye. Um, I was gonna show you guys like halfway. So here is the lashes I just did. And then here's my lashes that need to be filled. Just by looking at me, like you can tell like there's a big difference on my eye. Like classic is probably the easiest than hybrid because you have to learn how to fan the lashes out. And I literally struggled learning. I was trying to practice fanning it out last night and it took forever. Look, I just lost a bunch of chunks of lashes. I look so weird right now, but this is like the only way to keep my eyes like open. Um, I'm gonna finish this side of my face and I will see you guys when I get back. Okay guys, so I just finished my lashes. I have like glue stuck on my hands. I'm just gonna brush it like real quick. I could honestly make it a little bit fuller, but I'm just lazy right now and I wanna do my nails, so. Um, here are my lashes. Okay, so now that I got my lashes done, I'm gonna do my nails. So I got all of this off Amazon as well too. I said everything is from Amazon and it really is. So I'm gonna show you guys all this stuff. So I bought these nail tips off Amazon. I also got a nail drill set. You don't really have to get the set. You can just use a nail file to be honest. I used to do that all the time, but it just, it takes more time. So I decided why not invest my money into a drill set because I like to do my nails to be honest. I know how to do like acrylic powder and like the dip powder, um, but today we're gonna do dip powder because I wanted to try this brand. So this is how it looks like. The dip powder is much easier than acrylic because you kind of have to shape it. This one, you just paint it on, dip, paint it on, dip, and then file and you're good to go. I also got a UV lamp uh, for my nails because I'm gonna use gel polish on it so it can dry faster because no one has time to wait for their nails to dry. I also bought this right here. It's like to put like little jewels on your nails and stuff. So first step is prep the nail, push back cuticle, check, remove shine from natural nail with a file. So I have this like, 
Okay, so now I have to apply the fake nails. My nails are looking really crusty, by the way, too, guys. Look at that. Ugh. See, I had acrylic nails, but they were grown out, and I... I wanted to go to a nail salon, but my favorite nail salon is closed, so I was like, whatever. So I ripped them all off, which I shouldn't have done. And then I was like, oh my god, why don't I just do my own nails? Because I know how to do that. Perfect. Look at that. Should I do my nails this long? So I'm going to cut down my nails and see how long I want them. So I trimmed it down, and I feel like... I feel like that's a perfect length. What do you guys think? I just want to show you guys that you can glow up at home without spending thousands of dollars. Realistically, I don't even think people would actually spend a thousand dollars to glow up. I got the shape that I wanted and now I'm gonna start dipping my nails. Okay, so here's my little nail area. So I'm gonna take the base and I'll do like, I'll do this finger first. Okay, so I'm gonna take the base Cover your whole entire nail with the base. Okay, and then dip nail into clear powder. And then take your brush and, and then do that with all nails. So now the next step is to put activator on it uh, and this will kind of like dry it out basically so you can start filing it. So I'm applying the activator on my nail. Ooh, this thing stinks. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just finished my nails and this is how they look like. They look really good. That's how my nails look like. Um, it took about an hour to do it, to be honest. I thought doing my right side would be hard because I'm right-handed, but it was actually pretty easy. And they came out nice. Um, they're kind of shorter than I thought I would make it. I used to spend like a hundred bucks to fill my eyelashes and then like freaking $85 to get my nails done. And then like, I bet you it cost like $100 for me to like fix up my hair. But I did this all at home and I probably spent under like $40. And I look, well not yet, cause I gotta put makeup on my face. Cause I look really nasty right now. But once I put makeup on my face, mm. So anyways, I'm gonna go put a full face of makeup on my face and do my hair. I don't know if I should put extensions on or just like leave it short, we'll see. And I will see you guys when I get back. Also, I'm gonna go get my boyfriend's reaction too. Cause lately I just, been letting myself go so you know he's been seeing like me in like oversized t-shirts not brushing my hair for like days so i thought it was time for me to make myself look pretty okay guys so this is basically the final look for the glow up video i just wanted to film this video to show you guys that you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to go and make yourself feel pretty or look pretty. Um, you can basically do everything at home. Because look at me. Mm, like I look like I just went to the salon. And I'm very disappointed at myself because I spent so much money on like my lashes and my nails. And look at this. So this video is basically to prove that if I can do it, you can do it. Um, I did my makeup pretty different. I did like eyeliner and like, like a little eyeliner here too. Come in here, my crippled boyfriend. Look at this, babe. I did my nails and my lashes. And my, I dyed my hair. Did you, you know? I dyed it back. You did? Why? Yeah. Yeah, you look good. Really? Yeah. I always do. Do you see the, what I did to my eyes? What do you think? Does it look like I got my eyelashes done and nails done professionally and my hair done? Yes. Well, your hair, no. What it's... time did I do this? I did this at like 11 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock, guys. 6 o'clock. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Also, give this video a thumbs up because I did this for hours, so.